Uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, servlet context uh, introduction. Uh, the left side you can see the web application. So when we deploy a web application in the container, uh, that time uh, web container will create the servlet context object. So basically this uh, servlet context object will be created at the time of uh, deploy the project. Okay, and uh, there will be only one uh, servlet context object uh, available per uh, web application. Okay. And using this uh, servlet context object, uh, we can read configuration information from the web.xml file. And uh, that uh, same uh, servlet context object will be available for all the servlets uh, uh, which are available in the web application. Okay. And uh, suppose uh, if you want to share some uh, uh, common information to all the servlets, then we can define in the web.xml using uh, context param element. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, this uh, servlet context object uh, provides a set of methods using this uh, this servlets can communicate with the container uh, like uh, dispatching the request uh, get my me type of a file or uh, write to a log file okay uh, so like i mentioned uh, this servlet context uh, object will be created by the web container at the time of uh, deploy the project and uh, per web application only one servlet context object will be available and uh, that servlet context object is shared by all the servlets and uh, JSPs which are available in the web application okay and uh, uh, for each servlet a servlet config object will be created by the servlet uh, container you can see servlet 1 has uh, one servlet config servlet 2 has another servlet config servlet 3 has another servlet config uh, jsp1 has another servlet config okay but uh, servlet 1 servlet 2 servlet 3 jsp1 all are sharing the same servlet context okay uh, so like i mentioned for each web application uh, one servlet context object will be available uh, that is what you are seeing here web application 1 has uh, one servlet context object Web application 2 has uh, another servlet context object. Web application 3 has uh, another servlet context object. Okay. Uh, here we can see how we can get the servlet context object. Uh, the interface uh, servlet config uh, provide one method called uh, get servlet context. By calling this method, we can get the uh, servlet context object. Okay. Another way of getting servlet context object is by calling uh, get servlet context method of uh, generic servlet okay and uh, here is the example uh, get servlet config dot uh, get uh, servlet context you can get the servlet context object and another way is uh, calling get servlet context of uh, generic servlet okay uh, so basically this uh, servlet uh, config object will be created by the servlet container so once we get the servlet config object uh, we can call the get servlet context uh, method so once we call that method we will get the servlet context object okay and uh, this is about uh, servlet context introduction i have created uh, some sample code related to this uh, servlet context if you want to know more about this uh, servlet context please log into my channel and uh, watch those videos and thanks for watching bye